There are facts you know, and then there are facts so mind-blowing they can make your brain do a backflip. Here at List25, we've covered the weird, the wacky, and the, wait, what? But today's facts are next level nuts. We have searched high and low and found 25 unexpectedly fascinating facts that even the most trivia buffs might not be aware of. So whether you're a lifelong learner or just enjoy a good mind bender, this list is for you. I'm Mike with List25 and here are 25 fascinating facts even trivia experts don't know. 25, a Russian scientist built a computer that ran on water. In 1936, a Soviet engineer named Vladimir Lukinov defied expectations by building a machine that used water to solve complex equations. Lukinov's creation, known as the water integrator, was an ingenious example of analog computing. It was basically a network of glass tubes filled with water. The water levels represented numbers, and by adjusting taps and plugs, Lukinov could manipulate variables. While it wasn't a computer in the modern sense, the water integrator's ability to solve partial differential equations was absolutely groundbreaking for its time. 24. There's more than 1 billion malware programs out there. And half a million samples are detected daily. It really is something we don't think enough about. Cyber criminals are relentless. Some reports indicate companies face ransomware attacks roughly every minute. The most common malware types include Trojans, disguised programs that pose a significant threat, viruses, self-replicating programs that can spread quickly, and scripts used to launch the attacks. The majority of malware infections target routers, so it has never been more important to protect both your home network and your individual devices. 23. Jordan's capital used to be called Philadelphia. Jordan's capital, Amman, has a history that goes thousands of years back to as early as 4000 BCE. That's amazing, right? Back then, the city was known as Rabbah, the capital of the Ammonite kingdom. By the 3rd century BCE, an Egyptian king named Ptolemy II conquered the city and renamed it after himself, Philadelphia, which means city of brotherly love in Greek. That name stuck for a long time, even through Roman and Byzantine times, but it eventually disappeared from the history books altogether. In 1878, the Ottomans brought the city back to life and paved the way for Amman to rise from the ashes. 22. Dictionaries have ghost words. Believe it or not, dictionaries not only come with their fair share of typos, but can also contain ghost words. Words that came about because of an, and I quote, error rather than by normal linguistic transmission as through the mistaken reading of a manuscript, a scribal error, or a misprint. Some of our favorites include Phantom Nation, Syllabus, which actually came to mean something, and Mount Weasel. 21. Full moons disrupt your sleep. There's a lot of folklore when it comes to the moon, most of which is just, well, stories. However, new research now proves that while the moon might not drive you mad, it can definitely disrupt your sleep. Researchers at the University of Basel in Switzerland studied how well volunteers slept during different lunar phases. The study had several controls in place. For instance, participants were unaware that their sleep patterns were being examined. They also isolated the lab environment from any and all moonlight to rule out brightness as a factor. In the end, they found that all the participants on average took five minutes longer to fall asleep during a full moon and that their sleep duration was shortened by 20 minutes. So, you know, if you didn't sleep well last night, well, just look at the moon's current phase. It might tell you all you need to know. 20. We've been eating oatmeal for 30,000 years. That's right. People were grinding up wild oats for a porridge-like meal even way back then. While oats were known to ancient Greeks and Romans, they weren't exactly a popular choice for everyone. And interestingly enough, oats weren't always considered a breakfast food. In fact, it was once used to make beer. So next time you enjoy a bowl of oatmeal, remember you're carrying on a tradition that stretches back thousands of years. 19. Meditation creates more time. We all know meditation offers a ton of benefits. Stress relief, better sleep, and a happier outlook. But did you know it might also give you more time? A recent study found that meditation can create more time by changing the way we experience it. The study focused on mindfulness meditation, where you train your mind to stay present in the moment. Volunteers meditated for two short sessions, then estimated how long different time segments felt. And here's the surprising part. They consistently misjudged the time and thought they had spent less time meditating than they actually had. It suggests that if we're more mindful, we can experience time as richer and fuller, even if the clock keeps ticking the same way. 18. 
Medical cannibalism. The practice of medical cannibalism, where people consume body parts to cure their diseases, has been around for centuries. Most of us would think that it ended after the European mummy eating craze that lasted up until the 19th century, but how would you feel about it if I told you it was alive and well today? In the mid 90s, journalists in Hong Kong wrote several reports about an illegal market that sold aborted fetuses' body parts. These body parts were sold for up to $300 a piece, and the supposed benefits of consuming these parts were equally unbelievable, from curing asthma to being the fountain of youth. The practice is illegal in most parts of the world. However, there have been isolated reports of similar beliefs persisting in certain regions in Asia and Africa. 17. The Steagles. World War II threw a curveball at the NFL. With many players all fighting for freedom, the Pennsylvania powerhouses, oh God, as a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, it pains me to even say they're powerhouses, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Pittsburgh Steelers had to get creative. So they joined forces and became the Steagles. Splitting their home games between Philly and Pittsburgh, the Steagles put up a fight, finishing with a winning record of five, four, and one. I hate all Philly teams. Go Bucks. Fire the cannons, baby. 16. All human embryos start out as female. All human embryos begin their development as females, since the bits that'll become ovaries or testes are basically just relaxing and waiting for instructions. At around week six or seven of the pregnancy, a specific gene on the Y chromosome, if it's present, throws a wrench into the works and triggers a cascade of events. One is the production of testosterone, the key hormone that steers things in a more masculine direction. And voila, a baby boy is born. 15. That time Batman took on... Batman? I'm not sure how many of you know this, but there's an actual city in Turkey called Batman. And in 2008, they threw down the legal gauntlet at Christopher Nolan and Warner Brothers. Apparently, the folks in Batman weren't thrilled with the Cape Crusader co-opting their name for a blockbuster trilogy. Their mayor, Hussein Kalkan, either a comedic genius or completely off the rails, and I'll let you decide, openly declared that there is only one Batman in the world. The lawsuit demanded not just royalties for the name, but also compensation for the psychological distress it caused the city's residents. Thankfully, this lawsuit never made it to court. But hey, at least it gave us the ultimate headline. 14. The 1964 Leprechaun Hunt In June 1964, the people of Liverpool were convinced that leprechauns were hiding in Liverpool's Jubilee Park. Thousands of kids and let's be honest, some curious adults, descended on the park, determined to catch themselves one of the little green men. The hunt became so intense that by July, the park resembled a leprechaun war zone. Police and crash helmets were brought in to keep the peace, and a temporary medical tent was set up for all the bumps and bruises from the search. The leprechaun fever even spread to a churchyard before it died down. But where did this crazy rumor even come from? Some say it started when some kids swore they saw tiny green men throwing mud in the park. Others believed a woman saw them zooming in on a UFO from Ireland. And then there's Brian Jones, a local known for his unique gardening attire, who some say got a little rough with the kids. So whether it was started by a leprechaun brawl, an alien invasion, or a grumpy gardener, oh, we'll probably never know. Uh, one of my favorite facts about Liverpool is people that live there are called Liverpudlians. You're welcome. 13. A woman once hit an alligator in her yoga pants during a traffic stop. Oh, Florida. Okay. In 2019, police pulled over a truck in Punta Gorda, Florida. The driver claimed they were collecting frogs and snakes, but things got very weird very fast. The passenger, a 25-year-old woman, had a whole collection of turtles in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle backpack. Ooh, talk about irony. But that wasn't all. When asked if she had anything else, she casually pulled a one-foot alligator out of her yoga pants. Florida wildlife officials swooped in and the reptiles were released. Let's just say that both the driver and the woman with the reptile purse faced some serious charges. But you wanna know what else is fascinating? The fact that you haven't commented, liked, shared, or subscribed yet? I mean, I know, I know. All of us YouTubers say it all the time, but it seriously helps channels grow so we can keep making content for you. And don't forget to check our socials. 12. Burger King presided over the funeral of a BK addict. In 2013, an 88-year-old Pennsylvania man and self-confessed Burger King superfan named David Kaim Jr. had one final wish, to have Burger King preside over his funeral. Burger King, ever the loyal provider, stepped up to the plate. 
They even prepared 40 Whopper Juniors for the procession, including one that joined David in his casket. According to the local BK manager, it was nice to know he was a loyal customer up until the very end. The very end. 11. The Superpower of the Wood Frog's Bladder Nature is full of amazing adaptations, and the wood frog's bladder might just be one of the coolest. These Alaskan frogs face a brutal challenge, surviving an eight-month winter where everything freezes solid. But instead of migrating south, they've developed a unique strategy, and it involves holding in their pee for the entire eight months. Their survival strategy turns their waste they would normally expel into nitrogen, which acts like antifreeze, in the process protecting their cells from the freezing temperatures. 10. How a Jay Became a Jay Walker Back in the early 1900s, a jay wasn't a bird, but a Midwestern insult for a country bumpkin, or someone who's completely useless when it comes to city life. As cars filled the streets, city folk worried about these jays wandering into traffic without care. So every clueless pedestrian became a jaywalker, or someone who crossed the street like a lost country bumpkin. 9. The word dude originated in the 1800s. The word dude first showed up in the 1800s, but back then it wasn't exactly a compliment. It was actually used to poke fun at guys who were a little too obsessed with fashion, or those who were believed to be ostentatious or dandy. Think fancy suits and probably a monocle. So essentially, a dude in the 1800s was that guy everyone made fun of because he was the one who was trying way too hard. 8. Most male birds don't have penises. I know it's probably something you never really wanted to know, and now that you do, you won't be able to forget it, but it's 100% true. Most male birds don't have penises. They actually get by with a different system. It's called a cloaca. Basically, it's a multi-purpose opening they use for both, well, you know, and bathroom stuff. So the next time you see a majestic eagle soaring through the sky, remember that life always, always finds a way. Seven. Frederick the Great's Coffee Crusade. Did you know that Frederick the Great of Prussia once had a serious beef with coffee? Yeah, you heard me right. Frederick wasn't a fan of our favorite morning beverage. In fact, he saw it as a national threat as his people simply couldn't get enough of the stuff. So in 1777, Frederick declared war on coffee. He issued a royal decree urging everyone to ditch the beans and rather grab a beer. Yep, especially in the morning. And here's the thing. Frederick the Great ruled Prussia for 46 years, one of the longest reigns ever. So maybe there's something to be said for a pre-dawn pint instead of a cup of joe. 6. Blood curdling isn't just an expression. The term blood curdling has always been used to describe a terrifying scream or experience, but science now shows that there's more to it. Researchers have discovered that watching horror movies can actually increase a blood clotting protein called factor 8. In other words, getting scared actually makes your blood a little thicker. Now, before you swear off scary movies forever, I want to assure you that this increase is only temporary and probably not harmful if you're a healthy individual, so watch on. Or don't, because horror movies are scary. I hate all of them. I hate horror movies. So my blood will be just fine, thank you. 5. A woman got caught smuggling drugs in her breast implants. Body scanners at airports are supposed to catch anything unusual, but this next story involves a smuggling method that shocked even customs officials. In 2016, a Colombian woman arriving in Frankfurt, Germany from Colombia raised red flags during a routine security check. Authorities discovered fresh surgical scars on her chest, and upon further investigation found her brand new breast implants contained two separate half kilogram packages of cocaine. The woman was apprehended, and the drugs were removed in a medical setting. Four. Pompeii had takeout restaurants. Forget everything you think you know about ancient food. The ancient Roman city of Pompeii was home to a thriving network of quick eats. Their takeout joints were called thermopolia, and thanks to recent excavations, we now have an idea of what these 2,000-year-old eateries might have looked like. The thermopolia served up hot meals and drinks to people on the go, kind of like a street food market. And we even have clues about the menu. Archaeologists found traces of things like stews, lentils, and even some seafood. 3. The Signal Ma uh, Baboon Back in the 1880s, South Africa's railways had a star employee who wasn't exactly human. That's right, he was a beautiful baboon named Jack. Jack belonged to a railway signalman named James Wide, who unfortunately lost both his legs in an accident. 
Under James' supervision, Jack became an old hand at handling the duties of a signalman. In fact, he helped to keep the trains running smoothly for over nine years and never made a single mistake. His payment? Brandy. Jack passed away in 1890 due to tuberculosis, and his skull is preserved in the Albany Museum in Grahamstown, South Africa to this day. 2. How Giraffes Use Taste to Check for Mates From a peculiar baboon to a very peculiar giraffe habit, did you know that male giraffes have a unique way of checking if a female is ready to mate? Well, it all comes down to taste, and I mean that in the worst possible way. Male giraffes have to drink and savor the urine of female giraffes to determine the hormones present in the urine to determine fertility. Now, before you wrinkle your nose, it's obviously not the most romantic approach, but it's a surprisingly effective way for giraffes to navigate the complexities of love. So who are we to judge? One, we've been unfriending people for a while. Believe it or not, the act of unfriending someone stretches way back beyond today's digital age in 1659, a Church of England clergyman named Thomas Fuller used the verb unfriend in a letter to repair a broken friendship with another churchman. And then, for some reason, the term fell out of use for centuries. It wasn't until the rise of social media in the early 2000s that unfriend reappeared, proving that the human desire to connect and disconnect is one thing that's remained constant throughout history. And, well, that's a wrap. And if you enjoyed today's lists, you'll love the one we did a while back on 25 important historical events you didn't know happened. What if I told you that some slaves in the American South were actually white? Or that British gentlemen in India used to hire people to cover themselves in jams to attract mosquitoes? I'm not kidding. And if you want to know more, simply click on the link right here.